Um, hello, kamusta tayong lahat? I exalt the name of the Almighty Father, for He has accepted us, even though we are sinners. Our Father is clean, He is holy, but He has accepted us because of Jesus Christ. He sent Jesus Christ to us so that our sins may be forgiven, so that we may be cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. So every day, every hour, every minute, we thank our Father. We thank Jesus Christ. Because our Father is our inheritance. He is the true treasure. Jesus Christ is also the true treasure. The treasures here on earth are uh, fleeting. It's just a mirage. So our priority is our Father, our real Father, and Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Subway natin, no? In our lives, we, um, we are free to choose. We can choose whether you want to be good or you want to be a bad person. God gave us free will. But we must know that the free will that He has given us, there are repercussions. That if we do bad deeds, we'll be sent to hell, our soul. But if we follow the instruction of our Father, if we please Him, if we glorify Him, if we trust Jesus Christ, then we will be with our Father for all eternity. So, what will you choose? Gusto nyo ba to be in Shoal for all eternity? Or with the Heavenly Father? Where there is peace, joy, love. And we will be taken care of by our Father and Jesus Christ forever. In Shoal, or in Hades, or in Hell, no, iisa lang yun. That's the second death because there's no hope there. There's no future. Every um, day, ganun ang gagawin sa Hell. Paulit-ulit yun. Uh, hindi ko kayo tinatakot. That's the truth. That's in the Bible. The oldest book. And the, the Bible is the living word of God. This is the manual of the people. Manual para sa atin. Hindi to manual for our father. Because our father knows what is in this book already in the Bible. He wrote it. No? He's the author of this book. So this is for us. Instructions for us. So what's written here are the laws and um, what um, the Almighty Father did in Jesus Christ's um, miracles and also the pain he had to endure, the torture that he suffered from the hands of the people. And um, in this book also is where we will find the end of times. So from the beginning, nasa Gen Genesis, no? And then sa Revelation, that is the end of times. So, kumpleto na. Kumpleto ang history ng mundo dito sa Bible so we must read the Bible always every day because um, kinakausap tayo ni Almighty Father through the Bible He's giving us instructions through the Bible and at the same time malalaman natin in our hearts 
ire remind ya tayo we will hear a voice behind our ears just what's in um book of what's that again <laughs> book of isaiah no behind your ears you will hear uh, a direction on where to go whether to go to the left or go to the right so nandito sa bible yon pero pag sa mga tao ang isipin nila or na ano to schizophrenic na to nakakarinig na to ng mga boses nagahalusinate na to but in the bible hindi ganon kasi si um, Satan ginagamit niya yung mga bagay dito sa mundo yung katalinuhan ng tao para mailayo tayo kay Almighty Father so let us return to our Father our real Father Tsaka dito sa mundo, no? Maybe some of us, we were disappointed with our father, with our parents. We were disappointed. Why were why were we be um a bit disappointed with our parents? Why are we disappointed with our parents? Awesome. Di ba minsan ah? Uh, kasi Bata pa lang tayo, di ba? Minsan pag may, um, nire-request tayo sa magulang natin, pag hindi binibigay, uh, nasasaktan tayo or nagtatampo tayo, bakit di ganun? Sino nagturo sa atin nun? It's because all of us came from a nurturing father. Lahat binibigay niya sa atin. Lahat inaalagaan niya tayo. That's why um, nung nandito tayo sa mundo, Nagbago ang lahat. Parang isip natin, parang mali. Parang may mali. <laughs> Kahit walang nagtuturo sa atin, nat alam nyo ba yun, nung bata kayo, natatanda nyo ba yung bata kayo? <laughs> Bakit ganon? Bakit, um, ginato ang mundo? Bakit may mga, hindi ba ninyo napapansin nung bata pa kayo? Baka aware din kayo, no? Or ako lang ba ang aware? Imposible naman ako lang ang aware. Kayo rin siguro aware lang kayo, hindi nyo lang napapansin. It's because a real father is very loving. We all came from our father. He created us. Kaya na nandito tayo sa mundo, na disillusion tayo. Ito ba yung tatay ko? Ito ba yung magulang ko? Ito ba yung nagpalaki sa akin? Bakit ganito? So, nagugulo ang uh, buhay ng mga tao dahil sa kinalakihan natin dahil sa environment natin. Because lahat tayo makasalanan. ba diba sabi nga ni um, Almighty Father, sa buong palang makasalanan na kayo. Pero alam ni Almighty Father na kahit makasalanan tayo, makakabalik tayo sa Kanya. Because He had sent Jesus for us to be saved. So, lahat tayo may hope. For now, dahil we are still in this world. Pero pag yung soul natin, wala na sa mundo na to kasi wala na yung body natin. Siyempre, wala na rin ang soul. Wala nang hope. Um, kung mapupunta ka ng Hades, gusto kong ulitin. No? Kailangan ulit-ulitin yon para ma-inculcate sa mind natin. Uh, tumatak sa mind natin at sa heart natin. Lahat ng mga binabasa natin sa Bible, Ilagay natin sa puso natin tsaka sa mind natin. Hindi lang to para basahin ng walang kwenta. Dahil ito ay importante. Salita to ng tatay natin. Hindi lang tayo kukuha ng uh, basta konti-konting verse. <laughs> intindihin natin kung bakit nagkaroon ng ganong verse bakit ba nagkaroon ng ganong verse ano ba ang uh, pinagmula nito bakit nagkaroon ng ganong salita si Almighty Father ngayon uh, 
<laughs> Iti-check niya ngayon. Mag-ano kayo, no? Magbabackread kayo. <laughs> I-check niyo bakit nasabi o di punta kayo sa umpisa. Hanggang sa paumpisa kayo ng paumpisa. Tapos makikita ninyo, magiging ano na ninyo yun. Um, routine. Pag naging routine na ninyo, magiging uh, traits na ninyo, magiging characteristics, characteristics na ninyo, magiging ugali na ninyo, magiging traits na ninyo, magiging makiki, mahahalo na sa personality mo. Yung Sayta ni Almighty Father, you will be changed. You will be changed. So let's seek the kingdom of our Father. So that all the things will be added unto us. All. Nakalagay all. Walang binagit na some of these things will be added unto you. No, it's all. Because the Almighty Father, Siya nag-create ng mundo. All of it. Even the heavens. Kaya lahat maia-add sa atin. Lahat mai-inherit natin. Dahil yung tatay natin, Siya ang ating inheritance. Sana naiintindihan natin, ano? na kahit makasalanan tayo, napatawad tayo, nandyan si Jesus Christ, makukuha natin ang ating inheritance. Nagiging worthy tayo because of Jesus Christ. Because we, on our own, we are unworthy. We are dirty. Unclean. So, tanggap tayo ni Almighty Father. Because of Jesus Christ. Kaya nga diba, this is my son, listen to him. Kung anong sabi ni Jesus Christ. And our names will be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Yun ang maganda ron, yung name natin. Nakasulat sa Lamb's Book of Life. O ito si Iska. <laughs> oh, it, no, eh, isipin nyo na yung name nyo nakalagay sa Lamses Book of Life ngayon pag hindi tayo naging um, faithful kay Almighty Father nandun na yung name mo sa Lamses Book of Life pag hindi tayo faithful buburahin ang name natin sa Lamses Book of Life gusto nyo bang mabura ang name? Di ba nakalagay dito? Buburahin ang name sa Lamb's Book of Life. Your name will be removed. Sa Revelation chapter 3 verse 5, no? He who overcomes shall be clothed in white garments, and I will not blot out his name from the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. So, sinabi ni Jesus, I will not blot out his name. So, ibig sabihin, there is a possibility na pwedeng ma-blot out ang name mo. Kung hindi ka faithful. Tsaka sa Revelation chapter um, 22 verse 19. 
And if anyone takes away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part from the book of life, from the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. Huh? Kung may, idada, kung may uh, buburahin ka dito sa Book of Revelation, tatanggalin din ang name mo sa Book of Life. Okay? So, pwedeng matanggal ang name sa Book of Life. So, ano na, um, recap na tayo. Isaiah chapter 50. Sabi niya, Almighty God, sino ang nagbenta sa inyo? Hindi ko kayo binenta. Kayo ang nagbenta mismo sa sarili ninyo dahil sa inyong mga kasalanan. Pati na yung lugar na kung saan kayo nakatira. Desolate ang lugar. Barren land. Nagsasuffer pati ang lugar na kinatilitirhan natin because of our sins, our iniquities. Bakit? Dahil sa greediness. So si Almighty Father, pag tinawag niya tayo, sumagot tayo dahil pag tinawag niya tayo, papatawarin niya tayo sa ating mga kasalanan. Lahat tayo, pinababalik niya, return to me. Kasi, yung soul natin, inuulit ko, ki Almighty Father, even our bodies, ki Almighty Father, we don't own anything in this world. That's the truth. We don't own anything. Hindi, binayaran ko na yan, binili ko na yan. <laughs> Binili ko yung kotse ko, binili ko yung bahay. Binili mo ba? Sa, sa, kung binili mo yun, saan galing yun? Pinaghirapan mo. I, babay tayo sa ano, no? I, down the line. Kung pinaghirapan mo yun, paano mo napaghirapan yun? Kung wala kang um, health, mapapaghirapan mo ba ang mga bagay na yun? Hindi. Kung tanggalin ni Almighty Father ang kalusugan mo, yung health mo, So, lahat yung Almighty Father. No? Hindi mo mabibili ang mga bagay na gusto mo kung wala kang, wala kang health na lahat kay Almighty Father. Um, Ina-allow ni Almighty Father. Lahat. Even those wicked people who are um, moneyed or wealthy in this world, ina-allow ni Almighty Father so that they may be drunk of the things in this world. He allows it. So our Father is powerful. And Jesus Christ also, because the Almighty Father taught Jesus Christ on how to speak and on what to speak to comfort the people No? The Lord has given me the tongue of the learned, so wisdom and knowledge, that I should know how to speak a word in season to him who is weary. Pag napagod ang mga tao, saan tayo tumatakbo? Napagod na tayo sa buhay. Uh, may mga mayayaman na papagod sa buhay. Ha? Hindi lang mahirap na papagod. Sometimes pag mahirap, hindi sila pagod, masaya pa nga sila, di ba? But there are uh, people who are um, wealthy, napapagod sa buhay. Um, di ba marami kayong uh, balitaan at they um, ano, they kill themselves. Because napagod na sila. Wala sila na nakikitang hope. Pero, if we have the Almighty Father in our hearts, in Jesus Christ, He will give us hope. Kung may nag-share lang sa kanila, no, ng kaitan ng Diyos. 
na nakalag tapos pag namin nag-share sa kanila sa tadis na napupunta sa heart yon maalala ngayon nila magkakaroon ngayon sila ng takot Almighty Father to Jesus Christ pero yung mga wealth wealthy people nga they are focused on the things in this world kaya nawawala yung isip nila kay Almighty Father because they already have everything So see, Jesus Christ, he's faithful to the Almighty Father. Never did he turn away. He was never rebellious. So see, Jesus Christ, ang susuntin natin, ang gagayahin natin. Napakahirap gayahin ni Jesus Christ. Ang taas ng uh, level, highest level sa Jesus Christ. Ang taas ng standard. That's why hindi natin kayang abutin si Jesus Christ. So what will we do? We will use the name of Jesus Christ. Para maabot natin si Almighty Father. That's the plan of the Almighty Father. Ang galing, di ba? Nagagalingan ba kayo? Ako nagagalingan ako. Ang galing ng Almighty Father. Para maabot natin siya, pinadala niya si Jesus Christ, eh, the bridge to our Father. Para maabot natin yung tatay natin. Para dadaan tayo kay Jesus Christ, lilinisin tayo ni Jesus Christ ng kanyang dugo. Gagamitin natin ng name niya. Para maka, maka, makausap natin yung tatay natin. Ang galing ng uh, wisdom ni Almighty Father. <laughs> Mahirap anuhin ano? Yung wisdom ni Almighty Father. It's so deep, it's so wide, it's so... More than gigantic, no? Na, na ano nyo ba? Naiintindihan nyo ba? Yung wisdom ni Almighty Father is amazing. That's why he is worthy to be praised, our Father. And even though he is um, amazing, he's wonderful, he is still humble. He wants us to return to him. Tiyatanggapin niya tayo kahit bulok tayo. Bulok yung pagkatao natin. Ako, bulok ang pagkatao ko. Ha? Baka sabi nyo, ako nagsasabi sa inyo, bulok pagkatao ko. Hindi, ako mismo, bulok pagkatao ko. So, I'm so amazed of the Almighty Father's um, heart. At kung gano'ng ka-amazing si Almighty Father, gano'n din si Jesus Christ. I gave my back to those who struck me. Si Jesus Christ, powerful. Hinayaan niya na matorture siya, na ipako siya sa krus para i-save tayo. Huh? Na kahit na pakiramdam niya sa sarili niya, worm na siya, hindi siya tao. It's so painful. It's so painful. Yung Diyos natin, ano, di duraan, sinasapak, tiyatadyakan. Uh, kung iisipin mo lang, kung nandun kayo sa time na yon nakikita mo si Jesus. Hindi natin kakayanin. Eh, hindi ko kakayanin yun. So, si Jesus Christ, He trusts the Almighty Father fully. For the Lord God will help me, therefore I will not be disgraced. Therefore, therefore I have set my face like a flint. Alam ni Jesus Christ ang gagawin niya. Kakapalad niya yung mukha niya. I, will have, I have set my face like a flint. Parang bato. Matigas ang bato. Matigas ang mukha na kahit sabihin, parang ano yun, kahit sabihin ninyo, ang gusto nyong sabihin sa akin, ganun si Jesus Christ. 
Sabihin niyo na kung anong gusto niyong sabihin sa akin. Ano, ano napapangitan kayo? Kung anong problema niyo sa akin? Sabihin niyo. Hindi nagpatinag si Jesus Christ. I will not be ashamed. Hindi ako magpapahiya. Hindi ako mahihiya. Bakit? Dahil He is near who justifies me. Si Almighty Father. Kaya tayo, hindi tayo mapapaya because our Father is with us. Tinanggal na ni Almighty Father yung shamefulness natin. Uh, kasi um, sometimes, no, ipapaalala sa'yo, ah, yan, si, ano, si Iska. Pangit ang ugali niya. <laughs> hindi naman mabuting tao yan eh. Tapos nagbabasa ng Bible. Ha? Huwag yung baking ganyan. Masama ang ugali niyan. Oo, masama ang ugali ko. Pero papasalamat ako kay Almighty Father. Tinanggap niya ako. He changed me. Kaya makapalamok ako ngayon. <laughs> Ganun kasi ang gagawin ni Satan. Iya ano kanya, iya... Um, Igigil trip kanya. <laughs> Ipapaalala na niya yung mga kasalanan mo dati. Magpapatinag ba tayo doon? Hindi. Gagawin natin si Jesus. Dikit tayo sa pinaka-powerful. Sinang powerful? So, Almighty Father, si Jesus. Wala namang kaya ang gawin si Satan eh. Wala. Puro lang siya salita. Alam niyo yun? Ha? Wala siyang kaya ang gawin. Ang kaya lang niya to manipulate people. Ngayon, uh, there are people who are uh, good in manipulating others. Those people, they are... Um, from the devil. Yung pagmamanipulate kasi kasama yun yung kasinungalingan. Alam nyo yun, di ba? When you manipulate people, may kasamang kasinungalingan yun. Um, uh, gumagawa ng story twisting things na kunyari tama but there are certain aspect which is a gray area so may nakatago ngayon si almighty father sabi niya wala siyang secret walang secret si almighty father lahat sinasabi niya nandito sa bible Even those who will go to heaven. Alam niya kung ilan. Kwentado na ni Almighty Father. Hindi niya sinisikret. Nabasa natin, di ba? One third. Ang mapupunta sa heaven. So, na rin nabasa yun? Ulitin ko lang, ha? Sa Zechariah chapter 13 verse 9. So alam na ni Almighty Father. Kasi nga itong Bible, alam na to. Tapos na ha? ang history ng mundo. Ngayon, yung mga history books ngayon, hindi pa yung tapos. <laughs> At hindi natin sure kung tama ba yung history books ng mga tao. Dahil meron silang kanya-kanyang mga agenda. Um, untrustworthy no? pero si Almighty Father walang secret so dito sa um, Zechariah chapter 13 awake awake O sword against my shepherd against the man who is my companion says the Lord of hosts strike the shepherd and the sheep will be scattered. So, you strike the shepherd, si Jesus, and the sheep will be scattered. Kakalat yung mga tao. Then I will turn my hand against the little ones, and it shall come to pass in all the land, says the Lord, that two-thirds in it shall be cut off and die. Two-thirds 
of the total population of the world since the world began. They will be cut off and die. But one third shall be left in it. I will bring the one third through the fire. Will refine them as silver is refined and test them as gold is tested. They will call on my name and I will answer them. I will say, this is my people. And each one will say, the Lord is my God. So nakikita na ninyo, walang secret si Almighty Father. Alam niya kung ilan na mapupunta sa heaven. So si Jesus Christ, malakas ang loob niya. Who among you fears the Lord who obeys the voice of his servant? Sino sa atin ang, ang may takot kay Almighty Father na susundin ang boses ni Jesus? Who walks in darkness and has no light? Let him trust in the name of the Lord and rely upon his name. Huh? Magtitiwala tayo sa name of our Lord. Look all you who kindle a fire, who encircle yourselves with sparks. Walk in the light of your fire in, in the sparks you have kindled. This you shall have from my hand. You shall lie down in torment. Kayo na may hawak-hawak ng apoy. Hinayaan nyo na mapaligiran kayo ng um, apoy, ng sparks. Walk in the light of your fire in the sparks you have kindled. Maglakad kayo sa inyong fire. At saka sa sparks na kayo mismo ang nag sindi. Kayo mismo ang nag decide. Yung ibig sabihin, you have um, the sparks you have kindled. Kayo nag decide na yan ang path na gusto nyo na mag maglakad sa apoy. Pinaliguran nyo ang sarili nyo ng apoy. Ano yun? Kasalanan. No? Pinaliguiran ninyo. Naggumawa kayo ng kasalanan. Pinanindigan ninyo. At yun ngayon ang nilalakaran ninyo. Ito ngayon. This you shall have from my hand. Ito ngayon ang maibibigay ko sa inyo. Judgment. No? You shall lie down in torment. Mapapa. Rusahan kayo. They will be judged according to their evil works and will be tormented forever, day and night, in the lake of fire. Nandiyan yan sa book of Revelation. Hindi natin maiiwasan no, na minsan na may mga papasok sa isip natin magkakasala tayo. Or may mga tao tayong nakikita na nagugulat tayo na nagkakasala tayo. We ask Jesus for forgiveness. Agad-agad, Lord, sorry, Lord, na saktan ko siya. Sorry, Almighty Father. Sorry po. Humble ourselves. Admit it. That's what the Almighty Father wants, to admit our sins. Be accountable of our own actions. Not to um, blame others. Siya kasi, siya kasi. Siya kasi. <laughs> kasi, kasi, kasi. Because him. That's him. That's her fault. That's why our life is like this. Because it's her fault. No. Kasali tayo. Lahat tayo. Kaya pag may mga ganong tao na naninisi, natitrigger ako, why, why don't you want to admit your mistakes? Why do you have to blame other people? No? That's not good in when you blame people. It's like you are weak. You cannot accept what you had done. You are a weak person. No? Kasi acceptance of our sins is not a weakness. It's a strength from the Almighty Father if we accept our sins. Yung mga pagkukulang natin, yung mga shortcomings natin. That's strength. Don't you agree with me? Ngayon, when you blame others, you, you thought that was strength. No, it's not. That's um, cowardice. Duwag. You cannot accept your mistake. Duwag ka. 
But our Father, Jesus Christ, they are not duag. They are strong. And so we must be strong. So when we say, accept it. Yes, Lord, I, I've sinned. I am humbling myself before you. And I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. I am not worthy to be called your daughter. But I hope you accept me and you forgive me. And the Lord will forgive us. He will forgive us. Mahirap mag, ano, no? mag-accept ng kamalian. Kasi sometimes people are uh, egoistic, prideful. No, hindi ko kasalanan yan. Kasalanan yan ng ibang tao. <laughs> Or may mga katuruan ang mga tao na mali. Hindi na nila gustong baguhin. It's because of pride. Hindi, nang, nasabi na natin yan. Palindigan na natin. That's pride. Now, we are on uh, Isaiah chapter 51. So let's read Isaiah chapter 51. Listen to me, you who follow after righteousness. So the Lord God is um, comforting his people. He wants us to um, look to the rock which you were hewn. No? Listen to me, you who follow after righteousness. Those of you who are seeking God's approval, you want to uh, be um, to uh, be a child of God. You follow after righteousness. You who seek the Lord, look to the rock from which you were hewn. Tumingin kayo sa rock. Konsan kayo? Iminolde. No? Yun. H-E-W-N. Yun. Kung saan kayo um, galing na itsura from which you were carved. So, anong saan tayo titingin? Saan tayo itsura galing? Kay Almighty Father. Then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So titingin tayo sa rock. Jesus Christ and the Almighty Father. And to the hole of the pit from which you were dug. Titingin din tayo kung saan tayo nanggaling. Titingin tayo kung sinong image natin si Almighty Father. At diba sabi Almighty Father, let us create man in our image and likeness. Our. Ibig sabihin, let us make image in our. So, hindi lang si Jesus Christ, hindi lang si Almighty Father. No. And tapos nun, titingin tayo sa whole of the pit from which we're dug. Ano yung hole of the pit from which we're dug? Lupa. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils and breath of life, the breath of life and man became a living being. Titingin tayo sa tatay natin. Thank you, Almighty Father. Galing ako sa lupa. Pero binigyan mo ako ng hininga. Ginawan mo ako ng forma, nakaporma mo. Wala kong kwentang tao. Galing ako sa alikabok. Thank you, Almighty Father. Bigyan mo ako ng importansya. Binigyan mo ako ng dominion. 
sa mga creation mo. Our God is wonderful. He's amazing. He's good. No? So for those of us who are chasing after God's heart, let us not lose sight from whose image and likeness we were patterned after. So we are patterned after our Father, His image and likeness. And let us not forget that we came from dust of the ground. That's why we cannot be prideful or arrogant. The, that um, we must worship our Father for giving us importance, for giving us also the chance to be with Him. Verse 2 of Isaiah chapter 51. Look to Abraham, your father. So, si Abraham, father siya, uh, if you check, sa kanya lahat galing, ano? Siya ang unang tinawag ni Almighty Father, eh. Hindi naman nakita ni Abraham si Almighty Father, eh. He heard a voice of the Almighty Father. And Abraham believed because he had faith in our Father. Natitig niya lang ang boses. Hindi naman niya harap-harap pa nakita, eh. Abraham is like us. Taos Abraham. Si Sarah, he's like, uh, she's like us also. Tao. Abraham and Sarah. So look to Abraham, your father. Bakit? So let's be inspired of Abraham. Because first, anong ginawa ni Abraham? God led him to an unknown place to live. Inutusan niya si Abraham, lipat ka ng lugar. Sumunod si Abraham, wala siya nakikita. He just heard the voice of the Almighty Father. That's faith. Ano pang pangalawa? God led him see Jesus. But the, at that time, hindi pa Jesus ang name niya. And then, with Jesus, there were two angels. So those two angels went to Sodom and Gomorrah and not Jesus. Kasi si Jesus na iwan lang kay Abraham to talk to Abraham, hindi pa pwede si um, Jesus to mingle with the uh, sinners. Sodom and Gomorrah is a sinful place. Hindi pa pwede si Jesus magpunta ron. It's not his time yet. Kaya, dun lang siya kay Abraham nakipag-usap. At si Abraham, alam na agad niya. Iba ang itsura ni, um, G ni Jesus nung nakita niyang angel. Iba ang itsura. Kaya alam agad niya because of faith. Isa pa, no? Kay Abraham, God told him that he would give him a son even though he is old already. So nagtiwala siya ron. As anak, ang asawa niya, old na. So siya old na rin. Pero, he believed. Asa pa, God ordered him to offer to God Isaac. Di ba ang sabi ni Almighty Father? I, you will become a father of uh, many nations. Uh, parang uh, grains of sand yung mga anak mo. Pero nung time na yun, wala siyang anak. And then nung nagkaanak siya, si, kaisa-isa niyang anak, si Isaac, God ordered him to offer Isaac. Papatayin niya si Isaac. And God saw Abraham's heart. Nagagawin lahat ni Abraham for the Almighty Father. So now, Abraham is at the bosom of our Father in Heaven. So, Abraham did not question the Almighty Father. He just followed the voice of our Father through faith. So if you want to see it, read Genesis chapter 12, no? And also read Hebrews chapter 11 verse 10 to verify. <laughs> A verification for, uh, sa Old Testament 
and then to verify New Testament. So ito lang natin, ano? Look to Abraham your father and to Sarah who bore you. For I called him alone and blessed him and increased him. Because Abraham was faithful to the Father, to the Almighty God. Abraham didn't see anything. He just heard it. And then he followed the voice of the Father. No? Sino sa atin ang ganun? Kaya nga, mahal ni Almighty Father si Abraham. Verse 3, For the Lord will comfort Zion. He will comfort all her waste places. He will make her wilderness like Eden and her desert like the garden of the Lord. Joy and gladness will be found in it. Thanksgiving in the voice of melody. So for the Lord will comfort Zion. Zion is a place where his children lives. Parang Babylon, no? Um, it's a counterpart of Babylon, but Babylon is a sinful place na ang maraming nation doon na nakatira. Ngayon, at ang Zion naman, it's um, a holy place of God na doon naman nakatira yung mga followers of the Almighty Father, Jesus Christ. So, our Father will comfort His people in all facets of their lives. He will be, they will be given strength and um, he will help them no to make their land bountiful and plentiful his blessings will be a great delight to his children and they will find contentment and satisfaction and bliss with our father so, hindi yun material things, no? It's peace of mind, joy in hearts, no? At saka, it's, um, you have a family. Support, nurturing father, supportive. And thereby, songs of thanksgiving and praise will be heard. It's a celebration. Pag celebration ki Almighty Father, it's a singing of worship songs, singing of gladness, singing of uh, joyous um, melodies. No? Pag ang uh, pag kasi dito sa world, pag celebration nakala ninyo a fiesta or papunta sa mga diskuhan, sa mga bar, hindi ganon. No? Iba yung ki Almighty Father. Kaya if you are a child of God, hindi ka na mahilig sa mga ganon. Ang gusto mo ay the Almighty Father. Yung celebration na si Almighty Father ang gumagawa. Verse 4, listen to me my people and give ear to me O my nation for law will proceed from me. Sabi ni Almighty Father, makinig kayo sa akin mga tao ko, my people. And give ear to me, O my nation. Heed me, understand me, my nation. For law will proceed me. And I will make my justice rest as a light to the, of the peoples. In inform the Almighty Father. Yung kanyang law. Ano ba yung law ni Almighty Father? The first law is to love Him. No? With all our heart. With all our soul, with all our, with all our mind, with all our strength, with all our might, and all of our being. To love Him. So if we love Him, uh, that love will be shown to other people. Thus, we can share the love that we have to other people. And if we love pop, uh, uh, the, uh, people, no? The gifts of the Holy Spirit will come in, and also the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Like if you have faith, you will have fruits, no? Pag may faith ka na, you can 
help people work uh, with people so uh, yung faith na yon it's a um start of helping people because we have faith in our father it's the works is just a result of the faith that we have for our father So yung law, ang susundin natin, law ni Almighty Father. And I will make my justice rest as a light of the peoples. So, yung justice ni Almighty Father, yun ang magiging kapahingahan. At magiging beacon of light for people to give hope, to give justice, to comfort His chosen people. Verse 5, my righteousness is near. Malapit lang ako. He's not far away from us, our Father. He's just a prayer away. Magpipray ka, anyan si Almighty Father. Because when you pray, the righteousness is near already because our Father is righteousness. He's the meaning of righteousness, our Father. My salvation has gone forth, and my arms will judge the peoples. The coastlands will wait upon me, and on my arm they will trust. So God is not far away from his people. He will save those who have faith in him. He will administer the law and impose it on people because he is holy and just. So those who wait on uh, the Holy Father will find strength by trusting Him. Kaya nga, on my arm, they will trust. Kasi sa kanyang kalakasan, tayo magtitiwala. Naintindihan ninyo? Salvation has gone forth. Yung, uh, to redeem the people, gumagana na, sabi ni Almighty Father. And my arms will judge the people. And the coastlands will wait upon me. Yung coastlands, mga tao to, the people, his people, is waiting for him. No? We are waiting for our Father. And on my arm, they will trust the strength of our Father. That's what it meant by on my arm. Verse 6, lift up your eyes to the heavens and look on the earth beneath. So, literal tayo, tumingin tayo sa heaven, tumingin tayo sa earth, beneath. Ano nakikita ninyo? It's the work of our Father, the heavens and the earth. He is powerful. All that you can see in this world, the stars, the moon, the things that we can see around us, they were made by our Father. He owns the world. Our Father. Just by His words, He created the world. For heavens will vanish away like smoke. So yung heavens, this ang salitala ni Almighty Father, it will disappear. Yung sky, it will disappear. So isang salitala ni Almighty Father, it will fade it will dissolve, it will dissipate, dip, dissipate. The earth will grow old like a garment. Ngayon, di ba, yung earth, naluluma. Dati, maganda yung earth, madaming mga um, trees, plants, tapos kompleto yung mga animals, wala pa mga extinct na mga animals. But now, may mga animals na na-extinct, may mga plants na extinct, um, na iba yung uh, yung land dahil ang ginagawa ng tao nililipat nila yung bundok sa dagat kaya na iba pumapangit nawawala yung ibang mga bagay yung mga minerals na sisira na kaya the earth will grow old like a garment parang damit na luma naluluma
and those who dwell in it will die in like manner. So, ang earth naluluma, nasisira. Ngayon, those who dwell in it, sino yung mga nagdudwell? Mga tao. Who, those who dwell in it will die in like manner. Maluluma din ang mga tao. Masisira din ang mga tao. People will grow old and die. And that's the truth. Wala tayong nakikita dito ng ano no, um rapture sa Old Testament. Kasi wala nang verification. Under lang sa New Testament yung turo ni John Darby. Pero yung verification, hindi walang walang binabanggit dito sa New Te sa Old Testament. Kasi kaya lang naman nag na, nagkaroon ng old ay old na yan. Huwag na natin pansinin yan dito na tayo sa New Testament. Hindi yun ang pinagsasa ang kaibahan ng Old Testament. Testament sa New Testament, yung covenant. Nung dumating si Jesus Christ, yun ang covenant, yun ang naiba. Pero yung salita ni Almighty Father, prophecy here on the Old Testament, still stands. Yun lang ang naiba yung covenant. Naiintindihan ninyo? Kaya yung mga prophecy dito sa Old Testament na dinidisregard ng mga tao, hindi na nila pinapansin because, oh, because it's in, in the Old Testament, we should disregard it already because we have the New Testament. Yes, we have the New Testament, but the Old Testament verifies what's in the New Testament. And also, uh, the some of the things, or most of the things here in the Old Testament, hasn't been uh, fulfilled yet. That's why it's important that we read the whole Bible and not just the New Testament. No? Kaya nga sabi ni Jesus Christ, seek ye first the kingdom of God. So, isisik natin nasa New Testament, isisik natin siya. And after that, we want to know more about our Father. That's why we transfer to the Old Testament. We want to seek Him more. No? Do you understand that? So, nung uh, binasa natin ng New Testament, nakilala natin si Jesus Christ. Nakilala natin kung paano tayo masasave. And then, nung lumipat tayo sa Old Testament, nakilala natin si Almighty Father, His goodness, His greatness, His magnificence. Nakita natin His majestic um, traits. That's why it's important to read the whole Bible. Ang naiba lang, ulitin ko, the covenant. Okay? Anong pagkakaiba? Gusto ko lang i-sabihan. Um, ang pagkakaiba ng new covenant sa, new, sa, sa old covenant. Sa old covenant, ang, ang ano doon, ang uh, pagkakaiba ng old covenant, wala si Jesus doon. So, ano ang meron sa old covenant? Symbolically, the Ark of the Covenant. Pero, sa New Covenant, si Jesus na, hindi na symbolic yon, Tao na. Naging si Jesus na. Do you understand that? And then, the law, the Ten Commandments, instead of the, it's ten, when it came to Jesus, it became only two. So, naging compact. Walang naiba. Naging compact lang. No? Walang naiba. Pinaikli lang. Pero, yun pa rin ang ibig sabihin. Regarding the high priest, may high priest na ibinigay si Almighty Father here in the Old Testament. In the New Testament, the high priest is Jesus Christ. And not just the high priest of Jesus Christ, he's also the Savior. Lahat, sinakop na ni Jesus Christ. Do you understand that? Okay, with regards to the tithes, the tithes, ano yung tithes? They were given for the Levites because they don't have land. Wala silang inheritance na land. 
That's why the 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 yung uh, parte ni Almighty Father bigay niya bigay na niya sa mga Levites kasi wala nang land ang mga Levites. Now, that's so that's 10%, no? Now in the New Testament, Jesus said it's not only 10%, but denying ourselves, taking up our cross and following him. Everything. No? Mas nag uh, focus si Jesus ngayon not just on the 10% but on the totality of the person to give our whole being and not just 10% and it's not about money it is our own being tao that's what is important kasi sa Old Testament wala pa si Jesus Christ hindi pa niya time at saka may mga itinuturo dito sa Old Testament na pertains to Jesus Christ like the snake that was um, bronze snake that was on a pole that's a, a symbol of sin No, na pagtubingin yung mga tao na kinagat ng snake symbol of sin, gagaling sila ngayon in the New Testament yung mga tao, si Jesus ngayon ang nakapako instead of the snake why? because Jesus became the symbol of sin para masave tayo just like the people who were saved when they saw the snake when they, when they uh, uh, see the snake or when they look upon the snake they are um being saved because they have acknowledged that the snake bit them. The snake did them bad. Ngayon, sa New Testament, si Jesus Christ, He became the symbol of sin. Para tayo maligtas so that we may have eternal life. Naintindihan nyo na yun? Hindi pa rin. I pray to God that you may uh, that you may understand what's um, what I'm talking about. Uh, ito lang natin ano? My salvation will be forever, and my righteousness will not be abolished. So the power and the saving grace of our the Almighty Father and His goodness will be unending. There is no ending. It will be for all eternity. Forever. It will exist. It will not be abolished. The salvation and righteousness of our Father. Verse 7. So the Lord God is talking to His people here. Verse 7. Listen to me. You who know righteousness. Makinig ka sa akin. Yung kayo na alam ang correct way. Or righteousness you people in whose heart is my law nasa sa, puto, nasa puso natin ang law ni Almighty Father what's the law of the Almighty Father loving Him, trusting Him, worshiping Him acknowledging Him so anong message ni Almighty Father do not fear the reproach of men nor be afraid of their insults the Lord knows Even before it happens, he already knew that those who are uh, trusting him, those people who love him, they will be persecuted. He knew it already before it happens. Listen to me, you who know righteousness, you people in whose heart is my law. Nasa puso natin yung law ni Almighty Father. Do not fear the reproach of men. Huwag kayong matatakot. Saan? Sa reproach ng tao. Ano ba yung reproach? Reproach means disapproval. Huwag kayong matatakot pag disapprove sa inyong mga tao. Or you are dis being discredited. Or you are being lambasted by people. Being, um... Ano pa ba? Uh, people who are contemptuous of you. 
¿no? Smirch your name. Don't be afraid. Sabi ni Almighty Father. Never be afraid of their insults. Pag iniinsulto kayo, huwag kayong mag-react, huwag kayong matangot. Uh, ang uh, word ngayon na gamit, canceled. <laughs> huwag kayong matakot when people cancel you. When people um, persecute you, when people mock you, because um, in your heart is my law, sabi ni Almighty Father. So the people have the Lord God and Jesus Christ in their hearts and the Holy Spirit who follow the correct path in life. The love of God is in their hearts because they love their Creator and Savior. So let's not be anxious or apprehensive of what people will say to us. No, ano ang sasabihin ng mga tao sa akin? Christian na ako. Huwag <laughs> kang matatakot. Why will you be afraid? So this there's nothing to be afraid of. Don't worry. Don't be terrified of the people. Why? Tao lang. Gawa sa alikabok. Marami sila. They will uh, hurl insults at you. They will remind you of your sins. Ganon ang tao. They will have a smear campaign for your name to be cancelled, you know. Don't be afraid. Let's, not, let's focus our eyes on our Father and Jesus Christ. Even if um, men insult us, no? Kasi, true followers of Christ, we are only small in numbers. Sometimes, yung mga mga insulto pa sa'yo, they call themselves Christians. Sometimes they say that they are Christians, they are followers of Christ, but kung isip, parang iba to ah. You have the discerning spirit from the Holy Spirit. Iba to ah. Because, nagbabalat kayo si Satan, okay? So don't fear men. Read ka ng Bible. Continue to walk in the path of God. Be never afraid of people. What can mere men do to us? Huh? What can mere men do to us? Who has the everlasting life? The Almighty Father. So what can mere men do to us? Hindi, baka ano, baka murahin nila tayo, hindi na nila tayo bate, gano'n. <laughs> and so what? So what if hindi nila tayo bate? Para <laughs> mga bata, hindi na kita bate, gano'n. So what? It means to say that they are not of the Father. So if they are not of the Father, then who are they? They are of the devil. So will you be continuing uh, the friendship with them? No, why? Be civilized, no? Be respectful. But you know your God, that our God will protect us. Huh? Verse 8. For the moth will eat them up like a garment, and the worm will eat them like a wool. Imagine, yung mga tao na mga insulto sa iyo, they will hurl invective remarks against you. They will be eaten by moth like a garment. Ano ba moth? It's like a small insect. And the worm will eat them like wool. Imagine small insects. They will eat them. The insects. 
small insects will eat them like garment like wool bakit ano man kinakain ng moth and worm decaying things decaying flesh oh so buhay pa sila decayed na rotten They are still alive, but they are decaying already because they do not have the Holy Spirit in them. Mm, ang uh, painful, di ba? Painful sa makakarinig na hindi follower ni Christ. But it's the truth. It's in the Bible. So why will we, uh, we be afraid of telling what's in the Bible? This is the word of the Father. So let's not be afraid. Don't be afraid to be canceled. Why? Jesus was not afraid to be canceled. He was even crucified on the cross. Our God, our Savior. Okay? Ito lang natin. By, but my righteousness will be forever and my salvation from generation to generation. So let us trust our Father because His righteousness will be forever. And my salvation from generation to generation. Sabi ni Almighty Father. So we will trust the Almighty Father. The people, they, they don't really love you. They don't really like you. They just want to mess with your mind. Mess with your life. They cannot do anything. They don't have any contributions in their life at all. Why trust them? Why believe them? Why succumb to their wishes? So Jesus said, so Mark uh, chapter 10, verse 27, Whatever I tell you in the dark, speak in the light. And whatever you hear in the ear, preach on the housetops. Don't be afraid kung ano ang sasabihin sa atin ni Jesus Christ. Speak in the light. And what you hear in the ear, preach to the housetops. Ipagsabi mo, i-announce mo sa buong mundo. Tell it to people. Don't be afraid. Because our Father is with us. If He is with us, who can be against us? Who can be against us if our Father, the Creator of this world, is with us? So those people who are fake people, who are hypocrites, will we be afraid of those hypocrites? No, because they are hypocrites. They are not telling the truth. So why will we be afraid of them? God is not with them because they are hypocrites. They are not telling the truth. So we must not be afraid of them. Because they don't have the Almighty Father. Because they are telling lies. So if they are telling lies, they are of the devil. The devil is already defeated by the Almighty Father. From the start. Verse 9. Awake, awake, put on strength, O arm of the Lord. So let us be awake. Some people say that uh, those people who are um, different genders, they are the woke people. No, they're not the woke people. They're blinded by Satan. They're not awoke. They are in a nightmare. Imagining, imagine it, um, having yourselves injected by different kinds of hormones in your body. Tapos, you will uh, remove some parts of your body. That's, that's a nightmare. So much, you will undergo so much pain physically emotionally but deep in your heart you know that you're you know that you've been born man or you've been born a woman <laughs> so that's torture tayo na ang gumagawa ng sarili nating kalokohan sa buhay kaya nagkakandalo kaloko ang mundo so awake awake put on strength o arm of the lord so Revelation chapter 20, no? verse 4. 
And they saw thrones, and they sat on them, and judgment was, commi was committed to them. Then I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their witness to Jesus and for the word of God who had not worshipped the beast of the, or his image and had not received his mark on their foreheads or on their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. So those are the arm of the Lord, the faithful followers of God. They are strong because of the strength that comes from Jesus Christ and the Almighty Father, even though they were beheaded due to witnessing for Jesus and for the Word of God. Matapang. Can we do that? Kaya natin. If we have the Almighty Father and Jesus Christ. Awake us in the ancient days, in the generation of old. This means the ancient days now, in the generations of old. What does this, was, what does this mean? In the ancient days, they, uh, the people fight for the land. Are you not the arm that cut Rahab apart and wounded the serpent? So from uh, from uh, Egypt to the desert to Jericho, no? Kasi dando si Rahab sa Jericho. So Rahab was set apart from other people in Jericho. If you are not familiar with Jericho, it's a uh, village, no? Pero, sasakupin yun. Because it is a part of God's um, land for the Israelites. So, merong, ano dito? Paglalaban. Sa Old, o oh, ito yung verify na naman natin. Sa Old Testament, laban physically. Sa New Testament, laban spiritually speaking. Okay? So there's verification. <laughs> ah, inulit ko lang. Bine-verify, ha? Sa Old Testament, ang paglalaban ay yung inheritance na lupa. Sa New Testament, ang ipinaglalaban um not physically but spiritual warfare inheritance in heaven okay are you not the arm that rahab that cut rahab apart so si rahab no siya yung um tumulong sa mga spies so rahab was um Saved by the Almighty Father, even though he is from Jericho, he was saved. He was um. He was set apart by the Almighty Father because he's dif she's different. Even though she was, she was a prostitute, she was different because he helped the spies, and she feared the Almighty Father. And ato naman and nasa if you want to read the story of Rahab. It's in Joshua chapter 2. Huh? If you want to read it. And wounded the serpent. Sino nag wound ng serpent? Si Almighty Father. He wounded the serpent. Who is the serpent? The devil. So sa Revelation chapter 12 verse 9. Oh, bin verify sa New Testament. So the great dragon was cast out. That serpent of old called the devil and Satan who deceives the world. He was cast to the earth and his angels were cast out with him. No, Another um, verse, Revelation chapter 20, verse 10. Una pa lang talo na siya eh. Huh? So wala talaga magagawa ang devil. He just manipulates and tells lies. No? 
The devil who deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are. And they, are, and they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. See? Munang magagawa. Ang ginagawa lang niya to uh, encourage people to commit sin. Sige, gawin niyo yan. No? Inuman pa tayo. <laughs> Droga pa, gano'n. Malungkot ka, magdroga ka, pumatol sa, ka sa kung sino-sino, pakalat mo yung mga, maging greedy ka pa, sige, para yung mga, gano'n, yun ang kanyang way to destroy people. Kasi wala siyang kayang gawin, wala siyang kayang i-create. Huh? So, ang ginagamit niya ay ang kanyang bibig. Just like when uh, he, um, talk to Eve. No? Ginamit niya lang kanyang bebe yung uh, gift of gab niya. Magaling magsalita. No? Ginawang yung salita niya, magaling sa kalokohan ng salita. Sinungaling. Kaya nga father of all lies. Okay? So the snake lost his hold of the earth already. Simula pa noon, wala na siyang hold. Sa so verse 10, ah, sa so verse 10 pa lang tayo, sa mga kalahati na. Are you not the one who dried up the sea, the waters of the great deep that made the depths of the sea a road for, for the redeemed to cross over? Ito naman, binabanggit dito yung parting of the sea, the Red Sea and parting of the um, Jordan River. If you want to read it, it's Exodus chapter 14. So, in Exodus chapter 14, it's Moses. The Lord God used Moses no, to part the Red Sea. And then, on uh, Joshua chapter 3, the Lord God used Joshua to part the Jordan River. So, it's twice that the Almighty Father parted the waters. Why twice? Can you tell me why twice? Oh, what is that? <laughs> God used a uh, God that uh, made the um, God parted the sea twice, or the rivers twice, or the or the water um, twice because. Dahil ang mga tao, they will worship only Moses. Akala nila, si Moses lang ang makakapag-part ng si Pag wala si Moses, hindi na mapapart ng si. So what all the Almighty Father God did, ginawa niya sa time naman ni Joshua so that the people may know that he has the power and not Moses. You understand that? So that's why he uh parted the waters twice. No? So, may verification. Dalawang beses. Exodus chapter 14, Joshua chapter 3. So, that's the power of the Almighty Father because some says that oh, there's like um, a wind. The wind, the great wind blew the waters. That's why it parted. O sige, kunyari, na part ng, ano ha, ng, kunyari, science, na explanation na, or what about in Joshua, what happened? Same thing, but the, what about the time? Nung sakto, sakto na dadaan, saka nag-part, bakit nung walang dadaan, hindi nag-part? Ganun ang science eh, to discredit the Bible, to discredit the Almighty Father. It's the work of the devil. verse 11 so the ransom of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing with everlasting joy on their heads they shall obtain joy and gladness sorrow and sighing shall flee away so it also the ransom of the Lord shall return so no time ni Moses ano nangyari from Egypt, they returned to the land flowing with milk and honey, their um, natural land. The land was given to Abraham to be given to his children. Kasi lang, kaya lang sila nag-transfer to Egypt because there was famine. The Lord 
purposed the famine to happen. Because he has a purpose. Anong purpose niyo, Almighty Father? Itaposin mo na natin to, no? And come to Zion with singing, because that's the land flowing with milk and honey. With everlasting joy on their heads, they shall obtain joy and gladness. Sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Ngayon, from Egypt, babaliktan natin na, from Egypt to the promised land. Nandun sa promised land, di ba? There's a land flowing with milk and honey. But there was famine. That's why they transferred to Egypt. So the Lord purposed it. Why? To be an example for us. Egypt symbolizes this world. Uh, sinful world. And then the desert, that is um, mga trials and tribulations sa pinagdadaanan natin. And the land flowing with milk and honey, that is heaven. Nakikita ninyo? Symbolically, um, um, ano yung totoong tao from Egypt to the land flowing with the milk and honey. Ngayon tayo, from this world, going to heaven. Yung desert, the trials and tribulations that we're facing. Nakikita yung comparison? <laughs> Hindi nyo ba nakikita yung comparison? Sana makita ninyo, Lord God, explain to the people. Please. And then, and come to Zion with singing, no? So, from Israel, napunta na sila sa kanilang lupain. Tapos tayo ngayon, everlasting life in heaven. With everlasting joy on their heads. Kaya nga itinugtong dito, with everlasting joy on their heads, they shall obtain joy and gladness, sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Wala nang kalungkutan in heaven. Okay? So, ang galing ni Almighty Father, nagamit niya, ginawa niya, he purposed it, na mapunta yung mga tao sa Egypt. So, they may walk to the promised land. Tayo naman, we are in this world. We are walking in this world with the trials and tribulations so that there will be time, there will there'll be, there'll, uh, will come a time na we will be in heaven. No, napapurify tayo while we are in the desert or while we are um, having trials and tribulations. Na-change na, tayo. That's why sorrow and sighing shall flee away. So, Revelation chapter 21 verse 4. Ano yung nasa Revelation chapter 1 verse 4? And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Corroboration. Verification. And the, nakikita na ninyo? Huh? Because this uh, chapter is for the followers of Christ. No, no, we should not be afraid to tell to the whole world of the goodness of our God of his um, love, great love for the people verse 12 I, even I, he who comforts you who are you that you should be afraid of a man who will die and of the son of man who will be made like grass so sa almighty father he will comfort us na sino ba tayo na matatakot tayong mamatay that you should be afraid of a man will die sino ba tayo the Lord God will comfort us He will be with us forever so we should not be afraid of anything because He will be with us and of the Son of Man who will be made like grass
Kaya wala tayo matatakot. Verse 13. And you forget the Lord your maker who stretched out the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth. You feared continually every day because of the fury of the oppressor when he has prepared to destroy. And where is the fury of the oppressor? Kinalimutan ninyo si Almighty Father, sabi dito, na gumawa ng heaven and earth, who laid the foundations of the earth, the creator of the world. Kinalimutan ninyo. Why? Because you have feared continually every day. Takot kayo araw-araw sa galit ng oppressor. Takot kayo sa galit ng oppressor. Takot kayo sa mga tao. Takot kayo sa mga um persecution, takot kayo na ma, 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 mapuna kayo, takot kayo, no? Takot kayo sa mga diktador, sa tyrant, takot kayo sa mga na-intimidate kayo, ha? Natatakot kayo kung ibubuli kayo ng mga tao because you are my followers. When he has prepared to destroy. And where is the fury of the oppressor? E asa na ngayon ang galit ng oppressor? Asa na ang mga galit ng mga magbubuli sa inyo? Sabi niyo Almighty Father. Asa na ang galit ng mga mga papersikit sa inyo? Kinakalimutan ninyo ako. Sabi niyo Almighty Father. Na ako ang gumawa ng mundo na ito. Pero kinakalimutan ninyo ako. Mas binibigyan niya ng importansya yung mga galit ng mga tao. Pero yung galit ko hindi niyo titignan. Hindi niyo ako nakikita yung pain ko. So tayo mga tao, lagi tayong takot sa kung nasasabihin ng tao. Ah, uh, meron ako narinig, no? Ak naging Christian, yun ako nababaliw na yan. Ganon. Ha? Takot ba tayo? Sa ganon sasabihin ng tao sa atin? Sa <laughs> takot. Sasabihin tayo ng baliw. God is with us. Why will we we be afraid of that? Why would we be afraid? God is with us. The creator of the world. The creator of heavens. We stretch out the heavens. Tapos sometimes no, they will hurt us emotionally, physically, like the um apostles. They were hurt. Uh, they were killed. Or magiging social outcast tayo. Takot tayo. Pero nasaan na yung galit ng mga destroyer or oppressor ng mga tao? Asa na sila? Dito sa Hebrews chapter 11 verse 32. And what more shall I say? For that time would fail me to tell of Gideon and Barak and Samson and Jephthah, also of David and Samuel and the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, worked righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions. Tingnan nyo, pati lions ay stop. Bakit matatakot ka? Ito ang ginawa ni Samuel, ni Samson, ni Gideon, ni Barak ni Jephthah, ni David. Ang dami nang ginawa nila because of the Almighty Father who was with them. Even the mouths of lion nata natakot, nag-stop. Quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of sword, out of weakness were made among strong, became valiant in battle, turned to flight the armies of the aliens. So, bakit tayo matatakot? Hmm? Exodus chapter 23, verse 22. If you listen carefully to what he says and do all that I say, I will be an enemy to your enemies and will oppose those who oppose you. Our Father is powerful. Those who will oppose us, God will oppose him. Because he's with us. So, why we be afraid of anyone or anything? He will be the enemy. 
to those who will be our enemy and those who will oppose us God will oppose him Deuteronomy chapter 20 verse 1 when you go to war against your enemies and see horses and chariots and an army greater than yours, do not be afraid of them because the Lord your God who brought you up out of Egypt will be with you. And dami dito ang tuturo sa atin si Almighty Father not to be afraid. Uh, maraming sa... Bakit ganyan ang itsura mo? Hindi ka pwede mag-share uh, ng word of God ganyan ang itsura mo. Bland ang buhok mo. Naka-lipstick ka, hindi pwede yan. I'm reading the Bible. Ngayon kung may mga tao mag oppose you tell it to our father. You tell it to my father. Tell it to my father. Tell my father to stop me. Tell the Almighty Father to stop me from talking about him, about his words. And let's see. Psalm chapter 37, verse 3. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and feed on his faithfulness. Delight yourself also in the Lord and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him and he shall bring it to pass. He shall bring forth your righteousness as the light and your justice as the noonday. If God is for us, who can be against us? Those who are against us, they are powerless because we are God's children. Our Father is powerful. Kaya ipag bumalakas ako, my Father is powerful. Verse 14, the captive exile hastens that he may be loosed, that he should not die in the pit and that his bread should not fail. Yung mga captive, no, sa verse 14, they have been exiled. So they succumb to the wishes of those who imprisoned them. Sumabay sila sa agos ng mundo. Because of fear that they may die, or they might be cancelled, or they might be um, rejected by people. No? So wherever the crowd goes, that is where they go. They go with the crowd because they are afraid of being canceled or persecuted. Here in chapter 14, the captive exile hastens. But he may be loosed, that he should not die in the pit, and that his bread should not fail. Takot siyang mamatay. Takot siyang ma-imprisoned. Pero ito, the Lord guaranteed, no? The verse 15, But I am the Lord your God, who divided the sea whose waves roared. The Lord of hosts is his name. Si Almighty Father, kaya niyang hatiin ng dagat. Sino pa ang nakakahati ng dagat? Si Almighty Father. With his words. So ano'y kakatakot mo? Ha? Huh? Pinapalakas ni Almighty Father ang loob ng kanyang mga tao to share God's words, not to be swayed by people who are sinners, not to be stopped by um, people who, are, who don't have the best interests for us. Verse 16, and I have put my words in your mouth, and I have covered you with the shadow of my hand. Sabi ni Almighty Father, tayo na mga anak niya. He will protect us. Because He has given us His words in our mouth, so that we may speak of the goodness of God, of His righteousness, so that we may share to people. And he covered us with a shadow of his hand so that nothing 
can hurt us because he is um protecting us because the almighty father wants the his loss to be uh, known to the people even though the people already know it God wants us to remind the people because the loss of our God is not in the hearts of the people that's why they have to be reminded again and again verse 68 that I may plant the heavens lay the foundations of the earth and say to Zion you are my people ano to ibig sabihin? that I may plant the heavens dumami ang tao in heaven lay the foundations of the earth kukunin ang dominion from the wicked people ibibigay sa mga ibibigay as part of the inheritance for the chosen people of God and say to Zion you are my people the plan of the Lord God is amazing naiintindihan ninyo Awake, awake, stand up, O Jerusalem. You have drunk at the hand of the Lord. The cup of his fury, you have drunk the dregs of the cup of trembling and drained it out. So, gumising tayo, sabi dito. We should be remorseful of our sins. Stand up. We should make a statement. Because... We have drunk at the hand of the Lord the cup of His fury. If we don't do what He wants us to do, magagalit si Almighty Father because it's our responsibility as Christians, as His followers, to tell the people. We have responsibilities. So the threshold of the fury of our Father has been reached already. And the people should know the truth. And what is the truth? The truth is the Almighty Father, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Responsibility natin yun yun ngayon, kung hindi natin sasabihin sa mga tao, magagalit si Almighty Father sa atin. Because sabi ni Almighty Father, di ba, love Him. So if we love Him, we should be obeying him and if we love our neighbor we should be telling uh, our neighbors of what the Lord wants them to do you have drunk the dregs of the cup of trembling and drained it out nainom nyo na lahat pati ang tining ng uh, cup of uh, trembling Yung tining, alam yung dregs, yung dumi, na inum nyo na lahat. Yung mga residue, na inum nyo na lahat. Yung galit ni Almighty Father. Verse 18, there is no one to guide her. Among all the sons, she has brought forth, nor is there any who takes her by the hand. Among all the sons, she has brought up. O ba't may binabanggit na naman na her, babae? There is no one to guide her. There is no one to guide the world. No? Pag sinasabing her, world or nation to. Among all her sons, she has brought forth. Mga tao sa mundo, walang nagsasabi na nag-guide sa mga tao. Wala nang sasabi ng totoo, walang gumagawa ng tama. Because no one cared to tell the people that what we are doing is wrong. Because we've already been accustomed to do bad deeds. 
na sana eh, gumawa ng kasalanan. Verse 19 These two things have come to you. Who will be sorry for you? Desolation and destruction and famine and sword. By whom will I comfort you? Pinatutungkulan dito yung mundo, no? Ito ang mangyayari sa mundo. Ito ang mangyayari sa'yo. Sino magiging sorry sa'yo? Sa'yo sa mundo. Sa mga tao dito sa mundo. Sino magiging sorry? Desolation. No? Devastation. Ruin. Destruction. Scarcity of food. And death. By whom will I comfort you? Sabi ni Almighty Father, No one is repentant. Or will take accountability. Of why the world is in chaos. Chaotic ang mundo. It's chaotic. All man for himself. Dog eat dog world. Alam niyo yung dog eat dog world? Agawan, agawan, ganun. Greediness. Selfishness. When, in, when we enable people to do bad deeds, like... We turn a blind eye. Uy, gumawa ng mali ito. Pero let's not talk about that. Ayoko makisali dyan. Baka mapahamak ako. Baka madamay ako. Kaya hiyaan nyo na natin sila. Sila lang yun. Labas ako dyan. If we turn a blind eye, God is not happy with it. We are sinning. We are um, active participants in enabling people to do evil things. And we, if we are an active participants, even though we say that we're Christians, and then we turn a blind eye, we are doomed to hell. Re let's read again, you know, Romans chapter 1. So we uh, may... Um, Remember all the things that is in Romans chapter 1 because this is about our sins. No? Nalilimutan natin eh. Nakakalimutan nyo ba? <laughs> Romans chapter 1 verse Um sik ba umpisahan natin sa Verse 16 For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ For it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes So ito yung nandito sa Isaiah chapter 51 no? Let's not be ashamed of the gospel of Christ It is the power of God for salvation to salvation for everyone who believes For the Jew first and also for the Greek So ang Greek dito are also Gentiles for in it, the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, The just shall live by faith. O, andito tayo sa kasalanan natin. Mabasahin na naman natin. For the wrath of God is revealed among, is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. Pag nagsusuppress ka ng katotohanan, it's a sin also. You know already the truth, but you're not telling the people of what the truth is. So that's also a sin. You suppress the truth in unrighteousness because that because what we what may be known of God is manifest in them, for God has shown it to them. For since the creation of the world is invisible, attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead so that they are without excuse walang excuse no? kaya sinasabi dito walang excuse, andito na lahat because although they knew God they did not glorify Him as God maraming tao they knew God but they don't want to glorify God even though God knew they know God that exists they um, rejected the Almighty Father nor were thankful but became futile in their thoughts and their foolish hearts were darkened kasi yung isip nila at yung puso nila madumi, madumi 
professing to be wise, they became fools. Akala nila matalino sila. But they are fools. They are, there are different, um, there is the so-called, I don't know, mga atheists. They uh, don't believe in God. Because they say that they're wise. Yung mga atheist na no, ang hindi nila makipaganan, walang Diyos, walang Diyos. Uh, matalino kami, alam namin, walang Diyos. No? Professing to be wise, they became fools. O itatagalogan naman natin, nagsasalita sila na kunyari matalino sila, pero sila ay naging fools. O kung itatagalog natin ng fools, anong tagalog ng fools? Hangal. O, pro, um, magandang salita tayo ng hangal, no? Pero pag ibang word na other than hangal, hindi nyo matanggap. Oh. Ano yung other word ng hangal? Check it in the dictionary. Tagalog dictionary. Other word for hangal or what is the, the Tagalog word for fools. And change the glory of the incorruptible God into an image made like corruptible man. O, oh, dito na naman. Yung idolatry. Huh? So, they corroborate, verified from the Old Testament to the New Testament, incorruptible God into an image made like corruptible man. Hypocrisy. And birds and four-footed animals and creeping things Yung iba naman, ng mga religion, ang ginagawa naman lagi, ibon, no? sambay natin tong ibon. Oh, yung manok, manok, sambay natin yung manok. Ah, yung ahas, yung dragon, sambay natin yan. Swerte, swerte. Swerte daw, no? Swerte na. <laughs> swerte daw, no? I am Almighty Father, okay? Therefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness. Hinayaan na ni Almighty Father sila sa kanilang kalokohan. They gave them, God gave them up to uncleanness in the lust of their hearts to dishonor their bodies among themselves who exchanged the truth of God for the lie. Si Almighty Father and truth, in exchange nila yung ginawa lang kasi ng alingan. And worship and serve the creature rather than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. Who's, who served or worshipped the creature? Ano ba yung uh, creature? Mga kahoy, mga simento, mga ahas, animals, si ilipante, uh, babae na madaming kamay, no? For this reason, God, they, God gave them up to their vile passions, for even their women exchange the natural use for what is against nature. Babae, exchange the natural use for what is against nature. Ano ba yung ginawa ng babae na against the nature? Likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the women burned in their lust for one another. Men with men committing what is shameful and receiving in themselves the penalty of their error. Which was due. Yung babae, natural use, umayaw against nature. Tapos pati naman yung lalaki rin. Huh? Men with men committing what is shameful. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased mind, to those things which are not fitting, being filled with all unrighteousness, sexual immorality, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, evil-mindedness. They are whisperers, machismoso, backbiters, uh, nakatalikod, kaibigan mo kunyari, pero merong mga chismis chismis sa'yo dyan, yun. haters of God yung mga atheists, galit sila sa kay Almighty Father of, uh, uh, and even those who worship the devil, galit sila no? ang daming tao galit kay Almighty Father even though the Almighty Father is good a violent, they're also a violent people, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things 
nag-imbento ng mga evil things. Ang dami nag-imbento ng evil things, no? Gusto mo nyo bang isa-isahin natin? Mahaba tayo, lalagpo sa tayo. No? Pag inisa-isa natin. Disobedient to parents. Or disrespecting their parents. Undiscerning. Hindi makaintindi. Untrustworthy. Hindi mapagkatiwalaan. Unloving. Unforgiving. Unmerciful. Who knowing the righteous judgment of God that those who practice such things are deserving of death not only do the same but also approve yung kahuli-huli yan not only do the same but also approve of those who practice them those who approve toler tolerant oh, or enabler no so bag na tayo rito sa verse 20 Your sons have fainted. They lie at the head of all the streets like an antelope in a net. They are full of the fury of the Lord. They re the rebuke of your God. Yung uh, mga tao dito sa mundo, they are weak. They uh, don't know that they are trapped in a net, trapped or in bondage of sin. They do unacceptable things which make our God furious. They didn't know that they are they have been uh, trapped already. They don't know that. They have been caught in their own trap or snare. Maraming tao nga ito, hindi nila alam because they're blind. Spiritual blindness. Therefore, please hear this, you afflicted and drunk but not with wine. Those who are tormented and hurt should know that God knows everything that we do. And he is furious of the things that we thought no one knew what we are doing because we are doing it in secret. God abhors it. He's furious of the things that we did in secret because we thought no one knew. But God knows everything. Nothing is hidden from Him. Nothing is hidden from our God. Verse 22, Thus says your Lord, the Lord and your God, who pleads the cause of His people, See, I have taken out of your hand the cup of trembling, the dregs of the cup of my fury. You shall no longer drink it. Nakita mo, sabi ni Almighty Father, Hindi mo na, Iinumin yung cup of my fury. Hindi mo na yun iinumin. Tinanggal ko na sa kamay mo. Ulitin ko ha. Thus says the Lord your God, the Lord your, and your God, who pleads the cause of His people. Mahal ni Almighty Father ang tao, even if we are sinners. Pero, I have taken out of your hand the cup of trembling. Yung cup of... um punishment the dregs of my cup the dregs of the cup of my fury you shall no longer drink it hindi mo na iinumin yun bakit kasi nagbibigay tayo ng warning sa people those uh, people who give warning to others about God so God is pleased with us if we share his words and we are not included anymore in the anger of our God. 
We are not included anymore. Kaya hindi na natin madedrink yung cup of fury. Because we are doing what he wants us to do and that is to share his words. So verse 23, the last verse, But I will put it into the hand of those who afflict you, who have said to you, Lie down that we may walk over you. And you have led your body like the ground, and as the street for those who walk over. For those who walk over. No? Naintindihan niyo? Yung affliction, or yung galit ni Almighty Father, ililipat niya ngayon dun sa mga tao na nagpa-persecute sa'yo. Nagsishare ka ng word of God. Ngayon, ginawa mo na. Hindi na galit sa'yo si Almighty Father kasi nagsishare ka ng word of God. You tell the people of the um, gloriousness and the mightiness of Jesus Christ and the Almighty Father. Mawawala na sa'yo ang galit ng Almighty Father. Mapupunta na kanina. I will put it into the hand of those who afflict you. Kung sino mananakit sa'yo, doon ko ilalagay. Nagsishare ka ng word of God, sa kanila ko ilalagay yung galit ko. Sila na nagsasabi na, lie down that we may walk over you. Tatapakan ka namin, ipapersecute ka namin, ikakancel ka namin, hindi ka namin tatanggapin. You are rejected, you are, uh, we will abandon you by sharing the word of God because you are different, you don't want to go with the crowd, you want to go against the grain, you want to um, follow the Almighty Father, okay, do it, but we will abandon you, we will reject you, um, we will walk over you, aapihin ka namin. Those people will suffer the anger of the Almighty Father. They thought they can walk all over us, fill, um, followers of Christ. Alam mo yung walk all over us, yung walk over you, yung tatapakan ka, tatadyakan ka, uh, nakatayo ka, kahit nakahiga ka na, tinatadyakan ka pa, inaapi ka pa. Because you're a follower of Christ, the Lord will protect us. So the anger of the God will be for those who look down upon us. Yung galit ng Almighty Father, wala na sa atin. That's why I'm sharing to you the Bible. I'm reading to you the Bible. That's what's in the Bible. The Word of God. And now, you have the responsibility as Christians, as followers of Christ, to tell people of God's faithfulness of how powerful the Almighty Father is that He is the creator of the world that we should worship Him that He is the one to be worshipped and adored and uh, to be listened to and not to other things He is our priority tell it to people Mawawala ang gait ni Almighty Father sa atin. Instead, He will bless us. And we will be called His children. And we should not be afraid of being cancelled, rejected, abandoned. Hindi pa ba kayo nasanay? You were already abandoned. <laughs> Inabandon na kayo ah. Inabandon na kayo before ah. Hindi nyo pa napansin yon ng mga kaibigan ninyo. Inabandon na kayo. Iniwan na kayo. Pinagchichismisa nila kayo. Hindi nyo alam yon <laughs> Akala ninyo um, faithful sa inyo yung mga kaibigan ninyo. Yung mga kasama ninyo sa trabaho. Hindi. So what's there to be afraid of if God is with us? Our God is faithful to us. He's the one who truly loves us. He cares for us even when our 
when we are already old and our hairs are gray already, He will carry us. Kaya bang gawin sa inyo ng ibang mga tao yun? Ha? Kaya? Only the Almighty Father can do that. Because He owns us, He owns our body, He owns our soul. And He created us in His image and likeness, even though we only came from dust. He has given importance to us. What more can we ask for? He will even give us inheritance, even though we are already du only dust. He is amazing. He's powerful. That's why we must praise and worship our Father and be thankful that He has sent to us Jesus Christ. Because of Jesus Christ, we look beautiful in the eyes of our Father. We look clean. That's the love of God. Amazing. Awesome indescribable thank you and god loves us all so much